politics and policy in Europe is very important. You, you referred to the concept of cooperation. Meetings have uh, taken place in recent days, and uh, women have been emphasizing the fact that even if the Nobel Prize is one for African women, that is not really what's important. It, money uh, is not going to solve the problems of Africa. Projects of this kind are instruments, of course, but what is really important is a whole cooperation policy. Africa walks. Africa is women walking. Women in Africa have gone a long way and we can continue to go forward walking together throughout the world in order to improve our quality of life and transmit to future generations, generation after generation, this image of women standing tall and building a democratic society. We are going against some common places because most people think that African women are weak women. That is so typical that um, people would say that. But it's the contrary. Many women are very, very strong. You can rely on her. You can really, and if you invest on women in uh, African countries, it will have positive consequences on the family, on the country, on the economy. They are chiefly responsible for uh, rearing the children. Uh, they when I was asked to record a theme song in favor of awarding African women the Nobel Prize for Peace, I was deeply moved. It was and is my intimate desire to take part in this initiative. It's a small gesture, but when you put small gestures together, incredible things can happen. We have come in a wave today to the European Parliament and we want rain to fall on the African soil to bring out the plants and for African women those plants are our victory and this is why we are standing now in front of you. And it doesn't matter what color your skin is and it doesn't matter uh, what religion you, know, you adhere to, it matters that women really beat from their heart first. They are caretakers, they take care of their mothers, their fathers, their daughters, their sons, they take care of everybody else but themselves. And then when they need help, they turn to their sisters. So I'm really thrilled to be here today. Thanks so much to each one of you for that opportunity. And um, I believe that, you know, we all, are, um, we all are sisters and that my heart today is beating African for the honor of being with you all today. Our goal is economic empowerment of women. Our slogan is financial independence, give you the power of choice and voice. And our message is young women entrepreneurship promotion. And because I started from Egypt, I am ending with Egypt. Our symbol is Queen Hatshepsut of Egypt, who ruled Egypt 3,500 years ago. Women were empowered thousands of years ago. Africa is poor, but African women are the main victims of this poverty, despite the preponderant role that they play in development and in settling con the conflicts uh, in Africa. Now, every single day, African women work to restore, consolidate, and maintain peace on our continent. African women, though sometimes illiterate, demand the right to education for their children, demand security, demand freedom of expression. They demand to live and not die under the fire of the enemy for some so-called democracy. Well, this is a uh, non-governmental organization in Sudan. It's established by the initiative of the Sudanese woman activist with the famous African Solidarity FAS. Uh, this uh, organization is the uh, main goals of this organization is to engendering a peace process in Darfur. And we have uh, an objective in this uh, organization, our objective, uh, to unite women groups in Darfur to award the peace process. The Women Peace Initiative is an organization 
has had a cold hard look at the realities of Africa, conflicts, war, killings, and so on. And we base ourselves on the fact that women pay the heaviest price. Women pay the heaviest price. And sometimes they don't even know why people are fighting. So we thought it would be useful in our capitals to involve women in all processes that can contribute to preventing, when it's still possible, uh, to building peace or restoring peace. In 2007, we had our first democratic elections. We raised awareness amongst women. Women don't want to vote, and they don't want to vote for women. Well, they have their reasons. And women don't want to join a party to put up for an election. We have therefore raised awareness within the women community. We've trained them to engage in a political role. We are trying to uh, fight dictators who are pillaging their own people and uh, drawing their people into in, uh, unending wars with the terrible desolation where the women and children are the greatest victims, the worst, most hard hit. We can still be hopeful, though, despite uh, uh, this uh, rather black picture that I've painted. The women of Africa have been working with courage and dignity in order to build ramparts, solid ramparts, uh, on which Africa can rely and place their trust. The only country where women are majority in uh, the parliament is in Africa. It's Rwanda. This is unthinkable uh, in uh, a country such as mine. So we welcome this Gypsy Initiative. It's uh, a provocative, uh, innovative uh, initiative vis-à-vis -vis the Nobel Prize process. This is The Nobel Prize is also recognition in the media. And what's really wonderful about this campaign is that the Nobel Peace Prize would be given to a widespread section of humanity. We don't know their name and their family name, so they're individually visible, but it, it, it's for African women who deserve to be recognized as a whole. So this nomination is the most democratic possible nomination.